Regular medical checkups at hospitals, workplaces, and schools, as well as blood tests performed during hospital visits, help in the early detection of health abnormalities and changes. What can we learn from examining blood? In this video, we will explain the basics of blood and blood testing. First, let's take a look at blood. Blood makes up about 1 13th of body weight. In adults, that is equivalent to 2 to 3 2 liter bottles. If all the blood vessels were connected end to end, they would measure about 100,000 kilometers, enough to circle the Earth 2.5 times. Blood has three main roles transporting oxygen and nutrients while removing waste products. Defending the body by eliminating foreign substances such as bacteria and blood clotting, and maintaining the internal environment by regulating temperature, osmotic pressure, and pH levels. Blood is made up of a liquid called plasma and blood cells. Plasma, which makes up about 55% of blood, contains many types of proteins including those that stop bleeding and protect against infections, as well as hormones and glucose. There are three types of blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Blood cells are produced from hematopoietic stem cells found in bone marrow. These stem cells divide into red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Red blood cells transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. They make up about 96% of all blood cells. White blood cells protect the body by attacking bacteria and viruses, preventing infections. Platelets gather at damaged blood vessels to stop bleeding. White blood cells can be divided into five types. Neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, monocytes, and lymphocytes, each with specific roles. For example, neutrophils primarily defend against bacteria, while lymphocytes protect against viruses. Additionally, lymphocytes include types such as T cells, B cells, and NK cells, which work together to attack foreign substances like viruses. Why is blood drawn into multiple tubes during a blood test? In fact, there are many different types of blood tests. Blood is drawn into separate tubes to prepare it for different types of tests. Let's go over some common tests. Hematology testing measures and analyzes the number, types, and sizes of red and white blood cells and other blood cells. It helps determine whether more detailed tests are needed. Hemostasis testing examines the ability of blood to clot at wound sites and dissolve clots. It serves as an important indicator during surgery and medication. Immunochemistry testing measures the body's immune response to foreign substances like viruses and cancer cells, as well as tumor markers, which are proteins produced by cancer cells. This helps identify the cause, type, and symptoms of diseases. Clinical chemistry testing evaluates the function of organs involved in metabolism by analyzing blood components like glucose, lipids, and proteins. This helps assess nutrient digestion, absorption, and waste elimination. Gene testing detects and analyzes genes to help determine the treatment methods and medication optimized to individual patient characteristics. It is also used to identify pathogens in infectious diseases. Blood plays a crucial role in maintaining vital functions within the body. Additionally, when there are abnormalities or changes in the body, they are reflected in blood cells and other components, providing valuable information. Blood is truly a barometer of health. 
That is why blood tests are used in various medical scenarios, such as disease prevention, medical checkups, diagnosis, determining treatment plans, and measuring the effectiveness of medications. Sysmex supports blood testing, which is essential for health management, diagnosis, and treatment.